TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. But we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. <laughs> what's this, you ask? Oh, we back in business. Got some new merch, man. I wanted to keep it simple this time, man. Just got, I got t-shirts, classic t-shirts, black and white with the new logo. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the premium heavy tees. You get me? These are premium. I'm, this, this is a classic tee. I'm talking thin. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, how many times are you going to wear this when you see me? This is the thin joint you put on under a shirt. The classic tee is your heavy t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? All of them are embroidered. This is not a, a iron-on. This is embroidery. I'm talking stitched on. <laughs> and then you got the little hoodies, you know. You know, UK weather crazy. Anyway, don't forget we do also have the Patreon. Just uploaded Only Fools and Horses up there. You yeah, get me. Uh, we also got um, the Discord as well. I don't know what they asking me for. This is the two most dangerous towns in West Yorkshire ex uh, uh, explored, though. With crime stats. Not stats. <laughs> Y'all got stats on the crime? That's tough. It's always that I, every time I watch like one of these police shows, it's based in Yorkshire. Yorkshire got something on that I must not know about, man. Y'all wild over there in the York. I call that the York. Let's get into it. Took her to the Welcome York. To UK Explored. For this video, we're heading up north to investigate two of the worst and most dangerous towns in West Yorkshire. Sounds like my type of place. <laughs> you get me. The first on our list is Castleford. Castleford? Which is a town within the city of Wakefield. When Wakefield, okay. Okay, let's jump straight into the facts here. Castleford has a... Go back, go back, go back. You're going too fast. Okay, let's... Population, 45,000. Let's jump straight into the facts. Crime rate, 174 per 1,000 people. Ooh. Facts here. Castleford has a crazy high crime rate of 174 crimes per 1,000 people. Most of which happen in and around the town centre. That's crazy. That's more than double the average crime rate across the UK, which is around 75 crimes per 1,000. Dang, that's looking like the west side of Chicago. Got the whole corner boarded up and everything. People. So if you want to get mugged, assaulted, or be a victim of any sort of crime, Castleford is where it's very likely to happen. But why would you want that, right? See, that's his outlook on it, right? My outlook is if you want to improve a city, if you want to insert some economic opportunities this is where you insert it <laughs> just look at some of these recent headlines as well there are endless reports of robberies involving deadly weapons various assaults i'm not even gonna lie most of these places take you to these neighborhoods and call them dangerous and call them this and that this is looking like it might live up to it though i ain't even gonna lie to you packs of masks jobs running riots it just goes on and on I actually visited the town centre early one Sunday, which wasn't a deliberate ploy on my part. Yeah, this is looking like it might b live up to something. <laughs> but it worked out well, because most of the troublemakers and people with dependency issues were probably hungover and asleep. It was actually eerie how quiet it was in the town. I expected more shops to be open, but I guess it's more trouble than- This looked like light south side of Chicago. <laughs> for a lot of businesses. <clears throat> Lightly south footage, side. <laughs> there are loads of closed down businesses, buildings falling apart, junk all over the floor and it's generally a pretty depressing place you can see here that the bank has had its windows put in i'm not sure if someone thought they were actually going to pull off a smash and grab and get some money that's exactly what they thought this is the first time i've seen a pound land with bulletproof metal sheeting instead of windows pound land i heard a pound town but i ain't heard a pound land that's tough and here are some more closed down businesses around the center Dang. No lie, I've never seen this many closed down th shops in, in the UK on in one area. Walking just outside the centre, the housing estates are pretty run down as you can see. And there are loads of alleyways running down the back of the houses, which I'm sure is where a lot of the crime goes down at night. And during the day probably. 
Apparently Castle Foot Bridge is quite the tourist attraction, so I took a look. It was closed when I visited, as you can see here, and it looks like they're renovating it, so it's probably unstable. Oh yeah, you brave. I can't swim, so I would have seen them fences and clotheslines, I would have, you got it, <laughs> that's you, because if it fall, what I'm going to do? Unalive myself? Hell no. Which is why I walked over it to find out what it's all about. You can swim. I do enjoy the sound of running water, and I have to say that this is one of the nicest moments I enjoyed while visiting Castle Food. It is nice, this right here. The other town in West Yorkshire with a super high crime rate and severe <laughs> poverty is Pontefract. Pontefract. Yeah. This sound like it. 30,000, 146 per thousand. Pontefract has a lower crime rate than Castleford, but it's still it's low almost population. double the national average with 146 reported crimes per 1,000 population. The first thing you notice when entering Pontefract's town centre is the bunch of high-rise flats overshadowing the shops. And these are the root of many of the social problems within the area. I couldn't find out how many people live in these tower blocks, but it's easily going to run into the hundreds, if not thousands. And we know from a social and just a basic housing standpoint that it just doesn't work when you cram hundreds of people into these buildings, especially when a high number of those people are on benefits and close to the poverty line. I've not seen such a dense concentration of tower blocks so close to a town centre before, and they just seem to run on and on and on. Here is the exit that leads from the tower blocks directly into the town centre. That's crazy how y'all still got like tower blocks. Y'all call them tower blocks, we call them projects. They still like standing like this. Like, you know, they tore a lot of them down in Chicago, but the UK, y'all got a lot of these joints still. We still got them in Chicago, but like, they're not so in your face like it is in the UK. I feel like it's more in the UK. Like vertical, like vertical projects like this. Like there's some projects that are not vertical in the city, but but like vertical ones, like tall like this is crazy. As I tour the town, it doesn't get much better. As you can see, there are loads of closed down shops, boarded up buildings, etc. All the things that are common sight these days in small towns. Some of the recent headlines that paint a picture of just how troubled Pontefract is. I ain't even gonna lie, this is depressing me watching this. I ain't even gonna hold you. Include various robberies with dangerous weapons, people making small holes in walls and climbing through to steal stuff, professional pickpockets lifting stuff from pensioners, murders, more stabbings, multi million pound cannabis operations getting busted, no surprise. and people wielding medieval weapons. There's another shop window smashed in. Lovely. And there's the courthouse. I bet that gets really busy. That's the courthouse? During the week. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with some of the best shots of Pontefract. Thank you. If you live in or around any of these areas I've covered, I'd love to hear what it's like living there. Please drop a comment below. And do press the like and subscribe Sorry. button whilst you're here as it really helps out the channel. I will, I will. Thank I you very you. much. And I'll see you in the next one. See you next time, bro. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Even if you don't have the time to go, you know, buy something, just go check it out. Just go. Just go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Let me subscribe and like, by the way. Let me hit that like button. I know it helps the channel, man. I used to be there at one point, man. I'm gone, y'all.